Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode from Network From Home. Today we're talking about internet connections. We're talking about if you want to get connected to the internet, what are the things that you need? And there are often misconceptions about, oh, I just need to buy a modem or, oh, I just need to have a, a router with Wi-Fi and I'm good to go. Well, today we're going to talk about the things that you definitively need if you want an internet connection in your home. We'll go over it briefly, the main components, and then we'll go a little bit further in depth on each one. So the three main things that you need is number one, you need an active internet plan with an internet service provider. You need a modem and you need a router. That will provide you with your internet connection. And then of course, you just need devices that can connect to the internet and that will allow you to use that internet connection that you've established. So let's go and talk about the three main components that you need for an internet connection and the role that each of those components plays in providing you with the internet. Okay, so one of the main components of an internet connection is actually an active internet plan. This is something that you get by signing up with your internet service provider in your local area. Depending upon where you live, you may have different options in terms of which internet service provider to use, what type of internet connection you have, these are all things to research on your own, but the bottom line is you need an active internet plan if you want to access the internet. With an active internet plan, your internet service provider will be providing your home with a connection to the broader internet and your home network devices then can connect to that connection, which allows the devices in your home to get access to the internet. So that's the first thing you want to do if you want an internet connection is to get an internet plan with an internet service provider. Okay, the next component that we want to talk about here is your internet modem. And we're going in order here. This will all make sense. So we started with having an active internet plan that provides you with an internet connection to your home. But as of right now, you can't use it because there's nothing, there are no devices in your home that allow you to use it, that internet connection. Enter your modem. Now your modem is an important home network device because it allows you to connect to that internet connection provided by your internet service provider. Usually what you'll see, and I have a, I have a cable here to show you, this is a coaxial cable. I have cable internet. So in order to connect to the internet connection provided by my internet service provider, there will be a wall jack, a jack in my wall with a, a connection point for this coaxial cable. So I connect this coaxial cable to the wall jack. I connect the other end to my modem and that provides me with a usable internet connection in my home. That is the importance of your modem. It can, makes a connection between your home and your internet service provider. And that's why you, you need to have something like this in place because it, your modem will allow you to use that internet connection that comes from your ISP. Okay, now we're talking about the last component of an active internet connection. As I mentioned, this will be your router. And let's talk about the value of a router and why you need it for an internet connection. As I previously mentioned, your internet service provider will provide an internet connection to your home. Your modem allows you to utilize that internet connection by connecting with 
your internet service provider and being able to talk and send data to it. And lastly, your router will be connected to your modem. And basically the value there is that your router allows you to take that one connection from your modem to your internet service provider and provide that internet connection to multiple devices. Your router is basically like an air traffic controller in that if you have multiple devices in your home network that are trying to access the internet, and for a lot of us, that is happening almost all the time, your router is responsible for making sure that those internet requests and that data traveling to and from your home network and your home network devices get to the proper locations. So that way, say you have a laptop and you make a request to the internet, you want to see a web page. That request will get passed to your from your laptop to your router, which then passes it through your modem to the internet service provider. And then on the way back, when that website gets returned by the internet service provider from the internet, it comes over the connection provided by your ISP to your modem, then it gets passed to your router, and then your router makes sure that that request gets back to your laptop. And I hope you can see that if there are a lot of different requests happening at the same time, things could get very complicated. And with your router, you don't have to worry about that. Now, what if we didn't have a router? If we didn't have a router, we'd only be able to connect to the internet through our modem and our modem only has one available connection to the internet. So if you didn't have a router, you could only connect one device to the internet. And oh, by the way, I should mention, you should never do that because there are significant security risks with plugging a device or a, a laptop, for example, directly into a modem. By connecting through a router and connecting to the router's network, it's a lot safer and more secure and your devices are a lot more protected and you can connect multiple devices to the internet at the same time. That's why your router plays such a vital role in your internet connection. Another thing I should mention is the fact that you can take, it's possible to take your modem and router and connect them into one device. This is called a modem router combination device. So if you just want to buy one device for your home network to get an internet connection, you can do that. And that's with a modem router combo. At this point, we've covered the three main components that you need for an internet connection. You need an active internet plan, you need a modem, so that way you can use that active internet plan. And then you need a router so you can coordinate those internet connections between all the devices on your home network. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And also I will link to a blog post that I've written on this topic. It goes into a little bit more depth than what we covered today. But if you're curious and you would like to learn more about the specific components of an internet connection, that's your place to go. As always, thanks for checking out Network From Home. We'll catch you on the next episode.